I'll first uh, just uh, give a brief update on WebAssembly. As we have been mentioning in the past, WebAssembly is uh, a language like assembly that is uh, browser independent. Um, it is meant to somehow uh, run JavaScript code faster. So JavaScript code will be compiled into WebAssembly and it will run on the browsers faster. So the next topic that I will comment, just to mention that a sync and the white, which are features of ECMAScript 6, are finally available in Firefox. Uh, at least nightly build. So that is the news. Next, we are going to talk about uh, uh, a package that is basically a query and a transformation language that um, uh, uh, is used to um, manipulate uh, JSON data. So it's called JSONator, <laughs> the, the package. Then we talk about Turbo.js, which is, uh, uh, let me scroll here, which is a, a library. I think there was some other library similar or, or for similar purpose, which is to um, control how to execute uh, tasks uh, using uh, the GPU from mm, from JavaScript. So we can perform tasks must much faster, taking advantage of the GPU that may be running on your machine. Then we will be talking about uh, debug, debug your DOM history using Vorlon.js. So basically it will allow you to to uh, see what changes happen uh, to your pages, what DOM nodes were changed uh, throughout uh, a period uh, of time. And finally, we have an interesting article about something that I'm not yet uh, sure how it works, but it seems interesting. It's all over Graphic.js. Uh, it's uh, a Windows component to, to implement holographic applications. But 